Yeah. This is why black people are in the position that they're in. This is why, as I said before, earlier on this YouTube video, uh, on this YouTube live stream today, I said earlier, a man has gone to the Met police and trying to teach them how to handle black people. No, teach black people how to conduct themselves. Yeah, You do not need to teach the police how to handle black people in the UK. Maybe in America, that's in America. Forget about them, yeah? Yeah, we're concerned about what's going on around this perimeter is here, yeah? Yeah, on this local island we call Great Britain, yeah? Fuck America, yeah? This is people's problem, yeah? They're looking at... This is why people are in the position that they're in, because they try and fix other people's problems without fixing themselves. You know how we, we could fix the black community, yeah? If every black person looked in the mirror and found out what's wrong with them and how they can fix their own problems, yeah? Then we wouldn't be neat, we wouldn't be in, in this hole that we're in, yeah? Well, in this hole that they're in, cause I ain't in it. Yeah, I ain't in no hole, yeah? But what they do is they try to fix other people's problems instead of fixing your own, yeah? They try to project their own insecurities, their failures onto other people, yeah? Fix yourself first. If everyone fixed themselves, yeah, that would have a knock-on effect. We'd be able to inspire other people. But people don't want to. People don't want to fix their own problems. Yeah, they want to try and help other people fix theirs. Yeah, and then claim, oh, I ain't got time to fix my own problems because I'm helping everyone else. No, fix your own problems yourself. Yeah. So a man was basically trying to. Maybe, maybe this is before you came to the live stream, AY London. A man, a man was trying to talk about teaching the police how to handle black people. No, teach black people how to conduct themselves. Not, not teach black people how to handle the police. No, teach black people how to conduct themselves. It's a mindset. Yeah, when you have the mindset that the police are the enemy, of course you're going to conduct yourself in a mad way because. The, there's no smoke without fire, yeah? I love that fucking saying, yeah? I don't say it often, but there's no smoke without fire, right? The man is talking about teaching the police, right, how to handle black people. Why is no one talking about teaching the police how to handle white people? Why is no one talking about teaching the police how to handle Greek, Turkish, Arabs, yeah? Indian people, Chinese people. Why is it just black people? Yeah, it must be black people that is the problem because none of the other races are causing as much trouble as black people. Yeah, but these people, they, as I said before, they don't want to get to the root of the problem, which is themselves. Yeah, they want to blame every other person out there apart from themselves. They think that if they get reparations, they can give black people reparations, they can give us all the land they want. Yeah. They can give up, they can put us all on 60,000 pounds flat rate, yeah? The problem is us, yeah? They can put us 60 grand a year for the rest of our lives. The problem is us, right? Ain't no monetary value fixing the black community, yeah? Ain't no monetary value fixing black people. We need to monitor, we need reparations to our fucking brains, yeah? It's just like giving someone, it's just like someone with bad spending habits, winning the lottery, yeah? They're going to go broke within two years because it's a mindset that they're in, yeah? You could give me, yeah, £50,000. I'll hold on to that money better than someone who won two or three million, yeah? Because I don't have bad spending habits. I'm disciplined with my money, yeah? The person who has bad spending habits, yeah, they will fucking blow that money because it's an issue that they have within themselves. They don't know how to manage money, yeah? They're not sensible. The same thing. There's a video on YouTube, yeah, and you got this. You got these parents telling their children how they must conduct themselves in front of the police, right? And it's a little girl. Her name's Ariel, or whatever. And the dad goes through this line with her every day, or every week, or every month. And basically, she says, if she's ever confronted by the police, she'll put her hands up and say. I'm Ariel, I'm an eight-year-old child, um, I'm a, an unarmed individual, please don't shoot me. You're, you're teaching an eight-year-old that? Really? You fucking mad, fam. I feel like slapping the dad in the face, man. 
such a waste, man. Just because, this is what I'm saying, people project their own life experience onto other people, right? Just because the dad was rough handled by the police, yeah, and all this crazy, and apparently all this craziness is going on in America, he feels like his daughter's under threat. Bullshit, man. Bullshit. Now, how's that door going to, that door's going to grow up? For real, yeah, it is an embarrassing um, ritual. That that little girl's going to grow up terrified of the fucking police. Terrified of the police. But you're not supposed to be scared of the police. Yeah? Just like that little picnic in America. The, the fucking police car was driving by and then the, the, the security camera from the house saw the footage of the police car just driving by throughout the neighbourhood. looked like a suburban neighbourhood, but police was driving past and the little black girl was hiding behind the car like the police are going to do a fucking drive by. you serious? Like there's fucking Crips or Suru Pyrus in the fucking car. Come on, fam. About to do a shooting. This dad, right? The father of this little aerial girl with the, the, the guy that's wearing the funky hat, yeah? This is going to be the same man who's going to tell his daughter, yeah, when she grows up, yeah? Well, she, the, from time he's telling her about, oh, don't, you know, tell the police don't shoot me or whatever, it, yeah? she's old enough to understand the stuff, isn't it, yeah? He's probably already told her, if not, he will tell her one day. Because you are black, you are going to have it more difficult than the white person, yeah? So... When you don't get that job, it's because you are black. Yeah? When you teach children that, right, they just feel like they have no hope. Yeah? Because more than likely, they won't get certain jobs. Yeah? Because they, what these people don't realise, failure is a part of life. Yeah? And when, so this is what happens. Failure is a part of life. Yeah? It's the inevitable. Yeah? You're going to fail at a lot of things you try. Yeah? If you didn't, then you wouldn't be a normal person, uh, pretty much. Yeah, you're gonna fail at a lot of things that um, you try. Yeah, but when you've got people around you telling you that the reason why you failed is because you're black, you automatically assume, oh, it's because I'm black. I failed. I didn't get this job in it. I didn't get this job that I went for, but a white man got it. Right. So yeah. The reason why I didn't get this job is because I'm black. No, you just didn't get the job and a white person happened to get the job. That's it. It got nothing to do with that person being white and you're black. Yeah, you didn't get the job. You failed, which is the inevitable for a lot of people. Everyone fails at some point in their life. Everyone fails multiple times within their life, yeah, throughout their life. And some white person got that car, and um, got, got, got that job, right? It got nothing to do with anyone's colour. Yeah, it just so happens that you failed and that white person got the job, right? And they were promoted or whatever. Isn't it? Yeah. it got nothing to do with no one's colour. Yeah. Every now and then you might get a racist um, employer who, oh, I don't want to em employ a, a Jamal Khalid or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Every now and then, yeah, there's always going to be ignorant people and, that, and racist people, yeah? But that's a small minority of people. I'm telling you right now, most white people are not racist. Yeah, they might have a little bit of ignorance about them. That's because they just, it's, that's what it is, plain ignorance. They don't understand maybe black people's mannerisms or whatever in it. Yeah? They may not have come across black people, whatever in it. Yeah? So, yeah, they can have a little bit of ignorance towards them, towards black people, whatever in it. Yeah? But I'm telling you right now, yeah, when white people meet me, they fucking like me, you know? Like, White people actually like me, like they proper like me. Not all, obviously, because I'm not going to be liked by everyone anyway. Yeah? I'm not going to be liked by all black people. Oh, certainly, yeah, I know I ain't going to be liked by a lot of black people, yeah, because a lot of black people have the same mindset. Yeah? But I ain't going to be liked by all black people, I ain't going to be liked by all Chinese people, but there's going to be a lot of people who do like me. And a lot of white people, when they meet me, they like me. Because... You know? I come as a breath of fresh air, yeah? And they like that. Do you know what, yeah? This is why I need to, this is why I need exposure. This is why I need to go on TV, you know? I've never seen, yeah? Someone tell me yeah, if they've seen another young black man go on TV, yeah? Who talks just like me, talking about, I've come from this lifestyle, yeah? And I'm telling you all this racism towards black people and, if you're black, you, your your life is going to be harder. It's bullshit. I've never seen a young black man from the UK go on TV and talk the way that I talk. 
talking about there's no oppression. We're not oppressed. We don't need reparations. I swear, I need to be on a panel with certain men, yeah? A nice, diplomatic, but slightly heated conversation, yeah? I ain't gonna lose my rank, but a nice, diplomatic, but sort of heated conversation with certain people, innit? I need to be on a panel, yeah? I want there to be some older people as well who, I know they're gonna have that mentality, oh, Margaret Thatcher closed down the community centres in the 80s, that's why all black people are killing each other. Bullshit, again, yeah? not addressing the situation, yeah? not taking accountability for one's actions. Yeah? Margaret Thatcher closed down the community centers, they ain't got nothing to do with black people killing each other. Black people started killing each other because that's what they wanted to do. Yeah? Who's using it? Bullshit about closing down community centers led to fucking murder. Come on, man. You believe that you're fucking mad. Indian people have always existed and white people have always existed in, the, in, in London at the same time as black people. But why is it only black people who started killing people, you know, in a, high, in a higher rate of, in a higher ratio of numbers? I've got nothing to do with no fucking Margaret Thatcher closing down the community centre. Bullshit. So AY London said, that's why the cycle never breaks, pass on from generation to generation. Yeah, pretty much what I just said. Obviously, he left this comment before I made this statement. It's just like what Steve Harvey said, right? He, 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 you know, obviously, I like Steve Harvey and that. Um, he was talking about um, if you put a flea, a flea can jump, let's say, let's say a flea can jump 20 inches, but if you put it in a jar, that's only five inches big, right? It thinks it can only jump five inches, right? And when that flea reproduces and it has offspring, the offspring will just assume, oh, we can only jump five inches. But really it can really jump 20, but it's because there's a, a, there's a ceiling, right? And he basically, without saying it, he said, that's what black people's problem is. When you get a certain group of people and you, they think that they're in a box that they're not really in. They don't realize their full potential and their pretty much their community and their elders tell them that, yeah, this is only so far you can get. And that's what they believe. Yeah. Honestly, if I listen to my family members, yeah, I wouldn't have no property. I wouldn't have shit. Yeah. If I believe really this then for like, oh, you know, because I'm a black man, I've only got so there's only so far I can get. You think I would be you think if I if I really listen to my family members, yeah, you think I would I would I would be in a position that I'm in now. If I listen to my family members, I wouldn't be going out there trying to sell lights. I wouldn't be going out there trying to start a vending machine business. Because I'll just I'll listen to their advice. Because you're a black man, no one's gonna wanna take you on, no one's gonna wanna do business with you. But that's bullshit because when I was at uni, how many, tell me right now, how many uni students do you know that started a vending machine business at the uni that they were studying at? Because I don't know anyone apart from me. I've never even heard of a uni student starting a vending machine business at the uni. Now, don't get it twisted. Other uni students have started other amazing businesses while they're at uni. Yeah, like Facebook and shit like that. I think the youths that... The people who created Superdrive were uni students, apparently. Yeah. If I if I had that that negative mindset, oh, because I'm black, no one's gonna want to do business with me. You think I would ever have started that vending machine business? You think I would ever have approached the manager of the uni? Yeah, the person who runs the uni. You think I would have have approached him? No, I would have thought to myself, oh, I'm a black man, so no one's gonna want to do business with a black man. No. I don't, I don't think about my colour when I make decisions in my life. I just make decisions. Yeah? I don't give a fuck about how people are going to look at me based upon my colour. Yeah? I don't walk out of my house like some madman and think to myself, oh, because I'm a, a certain colour, this is how the world, world's going to view me. When I walk down the road, I don't think, oh, I'm a black man. No, I'm Jay Wise. That's, 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 that's all I think. I, I don't think, oh... I'm a black man, you know, uh, I'm in a white man's world. No, 
ami ma on van. Né? You can't pay too much attention to how people view you or what people think about you. That's how females act. That's how females think. Females are so... Fe, fe, see, that, that is very feminine, actually, you know. Walking down the road and conscious how the world views me and stuff like that. That's like being a woman. Only women think like that. Oh, how am I, how's, how's the world going to view me? Do, uh, do I fit in? Do people like me? That is feminine energy, man. Can't I think like that. It's not normal. Why are you leaving your house conscious of the way you look? Conscious that you are a black man. It's just insane. 